hi guys and welcome to the video today we are going to be doing a haul video and i have done a small well smallish haul on some home fragrance stuff and i love candles don't get me wrong i'm a big candle fan however there are some other things i like to use and they are wax melt i got gifted one of these at christmas and it is called scentsy i will kind of show you it if i can i don't know if i'll be able to but basically it's just an electric melter so you plug it in to the wall you plug it into the thing you click the on off button turn it on you put a little melt in the little tray thing and it melts so this is what the tray looks like and it just sits on the melt thing like this that's plugged into the wall and you just put your melt in it and you turn it off and on as and when you like sorry ed's snuffling away um you turn it on and off as you like it scents your room real nice they tend to kick off quite a lot of scent so i have to say they generally are better value than candles and stuff like that because they last a bit longer and they're really easy to clean out if you do get sick of a scent you can swap it up as much or as little as you like there's no reason you can't have more than one in the house going at once if you want even more and things like that so they are really cool really handy i find them a lot easier than the ones with tea lights because i just can't go ahead around that because might as well just light a candle to me anyway i really like these electric ones the one i have is by a company called scentsy probably can't even see that but anyway these are what the scentsy ones look like that's their packaging this is what they look like and you break the little squares off and you put one square in at a time if you really want to pump it up put two in but one's usually enough i will say but I wanted to try a different brand opposed to the Scentsy ones. So I picked up some Woodwick ones because I have been loving their candles. As you guys know, if you've been watching, I've been loving their candles. So I thought I'd try giving theirs a go. So basically my haul is a Woodwick wax melt haul. So let's crack on. So the first ones I picked up are a bunch of these ones, which are like four little skinny ones. Like they're super skinny if you look. And I picked up five different scents of these. So I'm just going to go through these initially. So the first one I picked up was Fireside, which we actually have two of those in right now. Smells really nice, kind of wintry, but not too wintry-ish at all. Really nice. Would say with these though, I would probably use two at a time, just because they are super duper thin. They are a lot thinner than the Scentsy ones, but... Did you see that? Did you hear that? Did you hear that? That was the ghost. No, it wasn't really. That was the wind. I'm kidding. But anyway, thought I'd a holy joke. But basically, yeah, I'd put two in opposed to one of these just because they are super duper thin and it just helps kick off a bit more. So you have Fireside and it says the essence of a cosy evening by the fire, perfectly captured by Amber Viteva. I don't even know. And musk so yeah very nice we're enjoying that one then we have marion berry i will list all these names down below if you guys are interested in checking these out this one smells really nice i knew i'd like this one because this one is the candle we actually have in the living room at the minute which is pretty much done we are pretty much done it is gone pretty much so we do need a new one it says a sweet and juicy scent bursting with wild berry accord and hints of tart blackberries. Then we have rum raisin. I'm not sure on this one. I'm not sure. We'll see. The irresistible aroma of creamy toffee with subtle notes of ma maple, rum and raisins. Now this one has been overpowering every other one and I don't like it so I can't really get the true scent of every other one and it is vanilla bourbon i thought it tastes kind of a lot taste not don't eat these do not eat these i thought this would smell kind of like a bourbon you know like a bourbon biscuit it just smells bitter bitter as fuck. it says enjoy the sweet and smoky notes of rich bourbon and soft familiar scents of vanilla pralines and sugar cane hmm well, there's something about this. All those things sound really nice on their own, but together, I'm not so sure. And why would you make something like this dark brown? That doesn't look attractive in your melt thing. Why? Then the last one in this size is berry sorbet. It smells kind of nice. I'm still getting some of the bourbon one over the top of it, which is a bit annoying, but... Scent of plump summer berries, slow churned with sweet cream. So, 
But yeah, these were a gamble. I got all these off Amazon, just so you know if you guys want to know where you could pick them up from, because I hadn't heard of them until I looked on Amazon. They are highly scented, I will give them that. Only thing is, obviously ordering online, you have no idea what anything smells like. I wish we could do scratch and sniff on Amazon. Amazon, can we please do this? Please bring this in. I would like to nominate this as an idea. Then I have some different ones that come in different shapes and sizes. I didn't realise that they came in such a variety of different shapes and sizes. I thought this one was going to be the same size as this one. So I have two of these small ones which are just single ones that are massive, I guess. Unless you cut them in half, but there's nothing to show that. And then this is a pack of six, so whatever. Um, this is the Seaside Mimosa scent. And this was the first candle we had, so I know that I like this scent. It's just a gorgeous, sweet... I'll read out the blurb to you. A blend of juicy citrus and sparkling champagne grapes makes this scent as refreshing as a cool drink on a summer shore. Sounds gorgeous, doesn't it? Which it is. And we have two of these little ones, and I have First Crush, which is... Oh, these don't have a blurb on them. Oh, that's annoying. I wish these had a blurb. These ones don't have anything for me to say about them, but... This one, I think he's kind of like a florally sort of one. And then this one is Campfire Marshmallow, which I know I smell in the store and I kind of like, so I think that's a bit more of a wintry one though, maybe. So that's it from this little haul. I just wanted to do a quick haul of all of those because I had ordered quite a lot and they are very nice. I really am liking them. We've only used the Fireside one just yet, but I might get rid of that one and start on another one very soon because it's still very summery out and I have quite a lot of summery ones there. I may also have a look at some more wintry ones towards winter time. I do love these Woodwick candles and scents. They Their range is a bit hit and miss, like there's some that I'm like, oh yeah, love it. And then there's some where I'm like, what even is this combination? Like it's a little bit hit and miss with the scents and stuff like that. But... The, like the amount of fragrance you get from them is incredible like they kick off big time and if you do buy the candles they have a wooden wick which crackles so if you like that sort of thing that mimics the sound of a fire crackling away then give them a shout these are re relatively cheap these are like one pound two pound each whereas the candles are a bit more pricey so value for money obviously the wax melts are a lot better value for money. I am going to really enjoy the scent of most of these, exclude this bourbon guy. He's, I don't know, bad times. We all make mistakes, don't we? But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it quite useful if you are into your home fragrance stuff. And I will see you all soon with another video. If you haven't already liked and subscribed, please do so before you go. And until then, guys, bye.